today we're going to be discussing sick kids, what we do to prevent illnesses, and how we treat our kids whenever we find out they're sick. So what are some things that y'all do to prevent illness in your home? I'm a big Lysol person. I know some people aren't, they're afraid of it or whatever, but again, I have a family, I have six kids, so if one of them gets sick, it just goes da 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 So I try to nip it in the butt as quickly as possible. All the toothbrushes get um, boiled. I was like, Lysol? <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. I boil the toothbrushes, uh, change the bed sheets, um, all the light fixture uh, switches and doorknobs get Lysol. You know, uh, the main plastic toys get Lysol. Stuffed animals, I wash in a washing machine. I, I'm sure not to, to lice all the stuffed animals, but pretty much try to every touchable surface, surface get as clean as possible, as quickly as possible. Because I don't have time to bleach water everything. Yeah. Because I know some moms like to bleach water stuff. What are some things y'all do? Well, with teenagers in high school, send them with um, the sanitizer. Yeah, hand sanitizer, um, the halls. Um, cough drops that are vitamin C, like health defense things. Oh, Get them yeah. a pack of that. So, also wash your kids. Teach your kids clean. healthy habits. Wash your hands constantly. Yeah. The girls go to kids club, and you know, as any daycare, childcare, anything. Once they get out of there, it's like they come home with like everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's like every time you go somewhere, you get sick. But just teaching your kids proper hand washing every time they play with somebody, mm -hmm. just to wash your hands. So when our kids do get sick, it can be challenging for them and for us. So what are things that y'all do to soothe your kids and keep them calm and let them, you know, especially when they're infants, I know that that can be like stressful. What are some things y'all do? There's a fever, maybe a cold washcloth, is just mm -hmm. a, for them to have that, kind of leave them alone for a while. Mm -hmm. Tell them dinner's ready, but if they're mm -hmm. too sick, just get into the future. So they probably just want to. Again, teenagers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my six-year-old my, my just wants me to hold him all the time, but right. um, um, because he has autism, he has the fascination with numbers, loves numbers, and actually that calms him down. Even with tantrums, you know, it's actually pretty cool to incorporate the whole, let's calm down, you take a deep breath, and it actually works really well with him. If anything, he actually gets more upset when you stop counting <laughs> than when you are, uh, than when you're not counting. So um, I've been able to do that the last Wow. Like example, what? I'll just actually, um, he likes the ABC, like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, so, but he likes the number so much we just start to count. So we go like one and two and three and four, five and six and I seven and nine more, yeah. <laughs> eight and nine, you know, ten, and then we'll go twenty down, yeah. or, you know, he'll, like just, just stuff like that, and then he's, obviously when he's sick, he wants to be baby. Um, yeah. He had a lot of acid reflex, the first, um, Two years of his life, he was actually spent his first um, first birthday in the hospital because oh, wow. he would have it so bad. We didn't know at that time what it was. Mm -hmm. They just thought it was like bronchitis, mm -hmm. um, asthma. They were just throwing around all these ideas, and he had to be sent to like three different specialists out in Santa Barbara. And um, eventually, it was just acid reflex is what they find. But he would vomit, or he would just cough and cough and cough so bad he would vomit. But you could tell it wasn't necessarily like flu vomit. It was more, you could tell, you, yeah. I mean, you could tell it was because he was choking pretty much. Or, and it got pretty scary for a while because at one point he would, he would pass out. He would seriously pass out. And oh. I would be like freaking out, you know. Yeah. On the way to the hospital, he would like pass out. We had to pull over to the side and like call like, well, we already called 911. And they had to meet us on the side of the road. So, like, I mean, so by the time he was one, he had already spent four or five nights in the emergency room overnight and stuff. So. That's been my experience. Other than that, you know, just like you said, cold washcloths. We use a lot of the natural highlands, natural other stuff, with the teething tablets and all, and their pain medicine and all that stuff. So. Awesome. He likes um, the lemon juice with the honey as well. Oh, cool. So. Well, my girls and I, when they get a cold or the flu or anything, the only thing that works to calm them down is we camp out in our bedroom. So Aww, it's, it's so TV, cute. movies, vaporizer constantly going so they can breathe better, and it's nursing, too. and the, the, the bulb syringe with the saline, saline drops. drops, awesome. Um, and only Tylenol probably at night when they have the fevers, but 
seriously, I stayed in my room for like three days. <laughs> That's a cute idea, though. I it like, works, I like though, and they can idea. breathe and they can sleep. And you know, if they're really upset, I I'm still nursing my two year old, so I nurse her and that like, comforts her. Mm -hmm. So, actually, I was trying to wean her off, and she got sick again, so I had to start. You know, like she got used to it again, so I'm like, God, it's not over. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I mean, it's worth it to have her calm down right. when she's you yeah. know not feeling well, but. My 11 month old, you know, that's what we do is because poor babies, you know, they're so more susceptible to catching, you know, illnesses and that. And, um, so what we do is the, if she's got a cold, or we're going to, you know, shoot the saline drops up there and then bulb syringe it out, she hates it. Oh, but yeah. they can be so much better afterwards. Yeah. And they're like, I'm sorry. I'm and there's some bulb day. syringes that are horrible. The ones in the hospital work great. The blue ones? Yeah, the blue ones. Was the white ones? ones? The blue ones that you buy? The safety first ones, the, the little tiny things? They do not work. No, but no. the blue the ones. The big blue ones. They oh, yeah, those are awesome. great. Yeah. But the vaporizers are good, or humidifiers. The cool ones. I also have the, the fan. Gosh, that rotating fan. I'm sorry. I'm going to forget the See name. Oscillating. Air purifier. Yeah. Oh, okay. I yeah. use that a lot. But I use that <laughs> on a regular basis. Oh, ceiling fan. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, we do the juicing as yeah. well. What's that? Like, oh, just juice. Like, oh, just yeah, fresh, juice. fresh juice. Uh -huh. And actually, oh, that just yeah. change it up a little yeah. bit, especially uh -huh. when they're sick. Yeah. Um, again, with my son, you know, we try to keep it more natural yeah. because of what's going on with him. But um, the juicing, I notice, helps a lot with their the enzymes yeah. and everything they're getting all the vitamins and stuff. Yeah. Giving them vitamins helps keep it away too. Yeah. When don't get sick as often. Mm -hmm. We give our jewels and we buy the big pack mm -hmm. at Sam's for like ten bucks for like three hundred vitamins. It's like awesome. <laughs> well if you go to like any other store, you can get a little thing for like fifteen bucks. Chancy. <laughs> oh, I've never been in there. Oh no, I'm just saying they're <laughs> they're expensive. And then they'll yes. remind you. You don't have to forget. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I, I forgot to say we use the cool mist vaporizer. We had a, a the hot mist one, but the doctor said to use the cool mist one because mm -hmm. if you go from hot to cold quickly, you can get like pneumonia or they can get really sick. Mm -hmm. So we always just use the cool mist vaporizer. I just always had to remember to obviously clean it out all the time, like every yeah. day. We have an elevator, and they love to. <laughs> yeah. I still got one time. Dumped it everywhere. Yeah. So, who stays home when the, your kids get sick? My husband stays home when my kids get sick. Um, before, when we were both out working outside of the house, I would have to take off because I got paid vacation days because so I'd have to use my vacation days, you know, as my sick days. But now he's able to work his business from the house. So, if they were sick, they were just. That was nice. I could stay those days. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I stay home. Yeah. I'm a stay-at-home mom, but I also do my own like little side businesses. But yeah, it's a given. I'm gonna be home with the girls. <laughs> well, I used to when I was just doing piano lessons before I got my real forty-hour job. <laughs> on top of piano lessons, I, I would stay home and they weren't feeling well and I'd look after them. Now Jason's schedule is more flexible, so. Being older, they can stay home too if you have to be Yeah, work. they can stay home by themselves, but of course they want yeah, money. They sometimes, you know, they want they want someone there to take care of them. Which is a top totally. I can. Or work. if you if they're real sick, you kind of want to watch them and make sure they're okay. Yeah. But you never know. Teenagers. Mm -hmm. It's be a bad day. Yeah. <laughs> Do you just <laughs> pretend to be sick so they can stay home? Mine haven't gone to that age. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mine neither, one and three. <laughs> but so, when y'all were little, yes, I used to. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Milk it. <laughs> oh, yeah. My mom did not buy it. Because I get to go to Grandma Matthews' house. Oh, yeah. And she'd give us cereal. We got to have ice cream because our throats hurt. You know, we got to watch <laughs> The Price is Right and all those other game shows, The Whammy, you know. Uh, <laughs> you know, so I'd, I'd love it. So I'd, I'd, you know, put the thermometer and, the, you know, next to the lights and stuff to get it. My mom was going to watch the bed, really. <laughs> she knew. Yeah, really. Right. She knew. Yeah, so that was awesome until I got too old and then I didn't get to go to Grandma's. I had to just stay at home. I was like, oh. Now there's no artist to go home. She makes, she makes her arguments. Well, we're not doing anything today. It's not really important. <laughs> uh -huh. It's a nice day. I'm not even taking that test. We're like, it's an absence. So you have to go to 
class. <laughs> yeah. You have to go to school. Somewhere. Well, now the absences are by class and not just the Oh, really? Day. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. So if they miss one day, they miss seven absences. Wow. And you can have seven? You can have 18. 18. And okay. then after that, you're denied credit. So that's another thing to take into account you know, with wow. your kids. Because there are some tough. kids. Well, there are some kids that, you know, are just sick all the time. It's like and two and a half college. days, though, if you, can, if you think about it. Mm -hmm. But just for one class. Right. Well, it's They're just there for that one. one. That's, that's too serious to eat. Oh, okay. That's really, like, I think mean, it's tough, though. I mean, when you get the flu and you're, you're um, sick for four days, and we that's like there's excuses and with the makeup excuse work. excuse so you can get the makeup work, yes. Yeah. Uh, but if you have too many, like some of the kids will say, well, my parents just decided to let me stay home. You know, so. Or if we were moving, they needed me <laughs> to help them move. Yeah. It's truancy, exactly. So yeah. that's what the, the schools are looking for. Mm -hmm. So that's something to take into account, too, is you know, how often are the kids sick and put yeah. into that school. Mm -hmm. So what kind of... Um, Stuff have y'all bought to help your kids when they're sick, like thermometers? What work we didn't? I have to get the thermometer. That one didn't always work for me. Yeah, it's they all say a different temperature. Mm -hmm. Right, you can take it and then take it again, and it's totally different. The forehead, the same thing. Well, the forehead one, pretty much, but it was, it was closer. More accurate. It was more accurate. Maybe I had a cheap one. Now. Well, yeah. I thought <laughs> this one. You know, I use those two more. He fought yeah. so much with them at the time. That was very hard. Always the armpit ones were great. That yeah. is actually I love great. the armpit ones. Especially their sleep because you just kind of lift their right. arm. Well, well, that's why I like to Got to warm it up first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but they won't keep it under the tongue. It works. No. It's more accurate, but that was, that was hard to get. We do yeah. the under the tongue. I think we have 20. If I really like dug everywhere, I think I find all 20 of them. <laughs> we have so many of them. We have a bunch at our house too, and it's like, they keep dying, and I just realized like a few months ago, maybe it needs a new battery. So, <laughs> <laughs> what, about, you know, what about giving the kids medicine? Do y'all have start? Do your kids ever fight in giving them medicine? Yes. And whether it be liquid or tablet, because it took forever to get my children to learn how to swallow a tablet, even the tiniest ones. The what doctor do told me to get the syringe, stick it to the back of the mouth, wait till they're going to take a breath, squeeze it in there, and then blow. <laughs> and then they kind of have to swallow. And that works. It really does. Because otherwise, like, <laughs> they take nothing. And right. I'm like, you squirt it in, it's gone all night. Right. We're going to have to get this done. Right. <laughs> but it's challenging when they're so little, they don't know. I mean, right. And they look at you like, what are you doing to me? And it's, yeah. I don't know. All the way in, or in the back towards the, the cheek. Yeah, yeah, the back cheek part. Yeah. When I first I came into the, my stepgirls' <laughs> lives, they were fifth grade, fourth grade, and So and it was the summer after those grades had just yeah. happened. So we just finished those grades. And for that age, they liked taking medicine because it was attention. Oh, they wow. wanted that. And there's three of them. They're so close to eight, the same age that it was like, oh, yeah, I need medicine. <laughs> <laughs> it was just. Desiree asks me for medicine. It's one-on-one -on -one time. Funny. It's. So, never had trouble with the medicine. Well, I got, you know, yeah. second, at the end of second grade is where I was at. That's my youngest. <laughs> De Desiree, like, she's four. And just this past year, like, just before she turned four, when she got sick, she doesn't want the syringe. She wants the big girl cup. Oh, and that makes a difference. Yes. She won't take the syringe. But if you give it to her in a cup, she's a big girl. So oh, like, that's nice. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> my son quite hasn't gotten down, though. Liquids. I still will put it in the sippy cup and just like put it you know very little on the bottom yeah. and just put like tiny little juice that way and then he gets it all I yeah. won't fill up the sippy cup entirely because obviously I'm not sure if he's getting it. So I'll just yeah. fill like a little little the amount and then medicine and then he usually just takes it and because I've done that so many times but again with yeah. I mentioned already he had acid reflex and actually forcing it would even you know making him or you know having oh, to make yeah. him take it would actually end up end up vomiting. And I just obviously felt horrible having to do that, so and I guess I still take the easy way out for right now. Yeah. And I haven't, I, he hasn't been sick in a few months, so I haven't yeah. had to, you know, worry about that for a while. But my daughter, again, because we take the Highlands a lot, mm -hmm. the little Highlands, they're dissolvable tablets, so she likes them. She'll come up to me and she's like, more. Awesome. Or she'll sign. <laughs> she'll sign the more. <laughs> well, thank you so much. <laughs> Well, we're about out of time. Thank y'all for joining us for Mom Talk, and we'll see you next week.